Hello VC, it's Craig again, and I'm here to do a February finds video. Um, I've been wanting to do one for a little while, um, but I didn't really find any records in January. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is every month do a vinyl finds for the month. Um, so for February, it really panned out. I got, I think it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. It was like sixteen albums um, to show, and uh, some of them were, were um, really surprising. I mean, some of them were a dollar. I found um, a couple of them in, in a box um, that was for free um, and in pretty good condition. So, um, anyway, let's get started. So, my first album, I actually picked up yesterday. Now, at first, I wasn't going to, um, but it was a dollar, and I figured I'd take a chance. Um, plus, the record itself is, is clean. I mean, I, I don't know how it's clean, but it is. I mean... The, this is the original insert. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And then, on top of that, look at this album. I mean, it's it's all warped, but the record itself, um, really, really um, good condition. Um, but it's um, it's Bill Weathers, and I, I I really like his voice, so I figured for a dollar. I, mean, I, I can't I can't pass that up and um, like I said the even though the the cover was in bad shape and definitely the insert um, for a dollar I mean you can't you can't go wrong I mean it's got the um, it's got the hit was well, not more than one hit but I mean Ain't No Sunshine, Harlem, um, Everybody Talking, Let It Be. I mean, just great, um, great songs by a, a, a great singer, Bill Weathers. I showed this one yesterday, um, Double Platinum. It's, it's a grail that I've been looking for for a while. Um, now it's time to move on to the other grails in my list. But um, I was real happy to... Uh, to get that one. I, I did more in depth yesterday and showed the record, so I wasn't gonna um, go in depth with it again today. Um, I found Linda Ronstadt for a dollar. Um, I wanted to start collecting her. I don't have any, um, but I wanted to. I mean, great condition. Record is on um, Asyl was it Asylum Records. Um, the insert has the original insert. Um, the album is in really good condition. Um, I don't I don't really know any songs on here. Um, this is the one that she's doing with um, the the Nelson Riddle Orchestra. Um, so um, I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I like Linda Ronstadt's voice. One I was really happy about getting is um and I'm, I'm reading his his uh, biography actually it's by keith green um it's a gatefold it's got the lyrics in here also got it for a dollar um record super clean um it was on sparrow records and this is 1978 or 76 um, I don't know how many, speaking of which, this is a, a Christian, um, a Christian artist. Um, I'm thinking about doing, I have more Christian artists on CD than I do on record, but I was thinking about doing a video on some of my favorite Christian um, music. Um, if anybody out there is interested in that. Put in the comments um 
and then I, I if I get enough interest I, I will um, I will do that video I actually picked up uh, also firm mean business um, it's on Atlantic it's 1986 I believe I mean super clean I got the firm on that side um, picked it up for a dollar um, I mean, you can't go wrong with the dollar records. I picked up uh, John Waite for a dollar. It's actually right here. It's a promo um, album. And um, this is 1984. And it was on EMI. Um, the EMI America um, label. Again, a dollar. Um, then, I, then one day this month, I think it was last week, or it might have been the week before, I can't remember now, um, I came across a, um, a box of free albums. And I got, look at this, Gordon Lightfoot, um, Gordy's Gold. Um, it's, all, it's a... Um, uh, gatefold. Um, it was done on Reprise Records, and um, there's a couple of light scratches on here, but nothing that that um, messes with the playability. It doesn't crackle. It doesn't pop. It doesn't uh, skip, which is important. But I mean, it's got hits on here like. Um, I mean, where do you begin? Canadian Railroad, um, Sundown. Um, it's got, um, if you could read my mind, I mean, this, some of the hits on here. Uh, so my first Gordon Lightfoot. I want to get some more. Also for free, Ringo. Um, albums, Gatefold. Um... This was done on, uh, oh, where's it at? I don't know what actually album it's off of. Well, the Gramophone Company. Um, it was it was a clean album. Um, no scratches on it whatsoever. And it was in the free box, which was amazing. I also was able to pick up um, Venus and Mars, Paul McCartney. Um, that was also sitting in the free box. Got the original insert. Um, some capital. Um, there were, like I said, there are some light scratches on it, but nothing deep. So it play, it plays well. Um, this would be my first my first Paul McCartney album. And it's got the lyrics on the back, Venus and Mars. Um, and uh, I was able to pick up, this one I got for $2. This was at a record store. That's my first Genesis album. And I got Genesis, um, Genesis, Wind, and Worthing. Um, I really enjoyed this album. <laughs> I've never really listened to it before. Um, there's a back cover, but it is also on, um, came in really good condition. This is um, Atco Records. Um, and um, it has a few light scratches on it, but nothing that messes with the um, playability. Um, I believe, this is the second album that Phil Collins took over to singing of. I think it was, was it Trick of the Tail or, or something like that was his first. But I really do enjoy this album. I've been listening to it quite a bit. And I picked up um, for $2 um, on Epic Al Records. Um, pretty clean. No issues with playability. But I picked up REO Speedwagon's um, Riding the Storm Out. It's my first 1970s um, older REO Speedwagon. 
um, not what I'm used to listening to. Um, I have to admit, I do I do like the sound. Um, so I'll probably will be picking up more Ario Speedwagon, um, late Ario Speedwagon. I finally came across, I don't, I, I don't know if it's a grail, but it's one I definitely wanted. Another Kansas album. This is their, got it on Gatefold. This is their uh, live and concert um, album. It's on um, Kirshner, um, um, com what do you call it? Yeah, Kirshner label. Um, this one does have a few scratches on it. Uh, nothing that messes with the playability. There are a couple of pops on it, but um, I don't care. It's Kansas, and it's one I've been wanting for a little while. Um, just the the songs, um, anywhere from Carry On Wayward Son, Dust In The Wind, um, a lot of their... Uh, I picked this one up um, mainly because I can't remember. It might have been J.C., um, flip side has country Jonah fish. I never have country Jonah fish. Um, but this one is 1960. Uh, I had this in my mind. 19, oh gosh, I want to say 1969. Um, and it's on Vanguard and, uh, 1967. Um, I really do like like the album. I've been listening to it. I want to pick up some more. I'm not sure which one. So if anybody's really into country, Joe and the Fish, if you can comment and give me an idea on where to go from there. Um, I do like it. Um, I found this, Survivor, um, Vital Signs. Um, some people like Survivor, some don't. Um, I particularly, when I had, when I was a teenager, I had this album, I played it a lot, so I'm happy to own it again. 1984, it's on, um, Scotty Brothers, is the label, um, has the hits, uh, oh gosh, Popular Girl, um, it's got I Can't Hold Back, and, um, The Search Is Over, that was a real popular, popular song. Got that. Okay, bear with me. This is my first vin um, vinyl finds video, so I have a lot to go through. For a dollar, I mean for a free box, Porco Harlem. It's a it's a, it's a repress um, done on A and M Records, 1972. Um, it's a wider shade of pale, but like I said, it's it's a repress. But hey, it was free, so. Um, I thoroughly, I, I actually like this a lot. I don't have any Procol Harlem, so, Procol, Procol Harum, sorry. Um, so if anybody wants to comment and tell me where I should go from there to get some more. One of my favorite finds, um, there's one, two, three, four, five albums on this. Um, it's only a, it's a gatefold and it's only two records, but what they did out of the five albums, they took... Um, and, um, they, 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 um, put the best songs of those five albums on this one. Um, it's, uh, what is this? Thresh, Threshold label. It's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Um, and, uh, they put it all, um, they put it on two albums and, uh, like I said, there's a, there's a little bit of wear on them. Um, this was also actually in the free box. I got lucky with this one. Um, but it's got, I mean, where is it at? Um, you know, um, there's different songs, like I said, from all, all five of these albums. And... Um, I thought it had Nights in White. Yeah, Nights in White Satin is one of the songs. It's a popular one. Um, Melancholy Man. Melancholy Man. Melancholy Man, sorry. 
um, The Dream, I like that song, The Voyage. Um, I haven't really listened to Moody Blues a whole lot, so um, I play keyboards, so I, I, enjoyed, um, I enjoy their music. Now, also in the free, free box, this I wanted to show last, Scorpion's Blackout. I used to have this album when I was a teenager. Um, it's done on Mercury. This is an original. Um, and, um, you know, they're, they're, it's on Mercury. Um, they are, um, you know, there's some, there's some pops a little bit, some couple of hisses, but um, once they get through that at the beginning, um, it plays um, very well. There's a cover. There's um, Rudolph, and he has that forks and famous forks in the eyes, <laughs> looking all crazy. Um, and this was 1982, and I am glad to one get it for free, um, but be able to put it into my collection. So. Um, it dawned on me yesterday. I did. I did a. Uh, I did a. Uh, a uh, Grail video, and um, I listed some names and some some um, channels, but it dawned on me that I just like listed their name. So I would like to to run down the list real quick, um, and again. These, these are the channels I go to the most. Um, they've been helpful um, with comments back and forth with me. Um, they've given me advice, um, really um, made me welcome in the VC. I know there's some other ones that I do go to or, or I respond to, but these are the ones I respond to the most. And I just wanted to give them a shout out. Um, make sure you go to their channels and um, you know, su subscribe and give them support. Um, so, um, Aaron Mother Alamar, um, Chris Profi, he's over at Musically Obsessed. Um, JC is on is the flip side. Um, Jeff Witcher is Vinyl Destination. Kate's Crate, great, um, great um, channel. All these are great channels, so you need to go check them out. Um, George Allen um, Vinyl LPs and CDs. Um, Gary over at Physical um, Format Rock and Roll, very knowledgeable, very friendly, always responds, um, just a great guy, um, loves um, rock and heavy metal, and other other music too. Um, Ron Haggerty's Vinyl Sanctuary, um, that old Goat's Vinyl, I like his, he's funny, um, he mostly goes into uh, um, vinyl finds. Sometimes he does threads or contests, but he does a lot of vinyl finds. Go check his channel out. JT Media, younger guy, really knows about the Beatles and the old um, music. Um, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Queen, that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, has like a young, has an old soul for for a, for a young um, uh, a young guy. Um, very knowledgeable. Um, J, um, that's over at uh, JT Media. And then Brain Twang. I just discovered that um, channel not too long ago uh, by entering a contest. So go check those channels out, guys. Give them some love. Give them some support. I appreciate everybody who gives me support and subscribes to my channel. Um, and like I said, um, I, I have an idea for a Christian video. I'm a Christian. Um... If anybody's interested in that, um, I can show you what I consider um, some of my top bands of Christian music. And um, let me know if that interests you. Also, if you have any ideas of where I should go with um, Procore Harem and, um, and uh, what's the other one I had there? Oh, where'd I go? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, if there's any suggestions of other bands, um, I I'm open for those and, um, I just want to um, wish you guys a good day and God bless.